everybody. Sorry, <laughs> I was trying to go live a minute ago and it did something weird. But I'm Allie and I am a co-author on Isis, Mother of Magic. And this is my uh, master class, Healing with Goddess Maya. Okay. <laughs> Um, so, welcome to my master class, and I am so excited to be sharing this space with you today. Um, I am so happy that I am part of this um, release and summit. This is my third book with Kiva Publishing, and I am so excited to be here. Um, so, Isis has actually always um, tried to show up in my life and, um, and get my attention. Um, but I was very stubborn and I closed the door on her and I was like, I am not healing. I'm not working with you. You're, you're too feminine for me. She was very feminine and very, very big and very intimidating to me. And I was very masculine and my feminine was very wounded and traumatized. So, um, Shannon announced that our next book would be Isis and at the very last second, I jumped on board and answered the call to work with Isis. And um, I'm very happy with the way Isis turned out. It is my, um, I think my best chapter um, that I've written yet. So I'm very happy with it. Um, so I've, I've actually had a lot of helpers from 4D and 5D come in and help me um, with my healing work, um, and, um, Isis was another one that I, um, had to work with, and I started healing and my healing journey, um, one night when I was sleeping on my couch, and it was pitch black in my house, and, um, I don't, um, ever sleep in the pitch black, because I'm actually afraid of the things that are in the dark that I have been able to see since I was a little girl. So it was just a weird off chance that it was dark in my house and I had this black shadow figure um, come and um, kind of wake me up. I don't think they actually meant to wake me up, but um, they did and kind of blew this gold dust in my face to put me back to sleep. It was really interesting and um, about two minutes, what it felt like later, um, they were gone and it was daytime and there was no trace of them left. And I think that kind of accelerated my journey from where I was to where I am now because um, I just woke up all of a sudden and they were gone. Um, so this was actually one of my first experiences with healing. Hi everybody. Hi Simone. Um, so when I finally heard the call of Isis, I had to take a step back. And as I said in my chapter for Isis, for so long I was hesitant about working with her because she was too big for me. And um, when I finally did answer her call, it was um, it was just this. She wrapped herself around me uh, like a beautiful cocoon of energy. And um, just kind of made it safe for me to be able to heal and transform my sacred feminine um, within me. And it was really difficult um, to heal because for so long I had been sitting in this masculine energy. And it was, um, it was a long road to um, healing. I, I let all my emotions flow. I sat in Isis energy as I was writing my book, of course. And um, it, was, it was very beautiful to heal the way that Isis had showed up for me. Um, so that was really special. I learned how to feel deep down inside of my body. I learned how to connect with myself. I learned how to connect with my soul um, in the way I had been wanting to for so long. Um, so it was a different kind of experience. And, you know, women think that they can change their men to 
suit them or to make them happy. Um, and I was uh, told one day, I was talking to some a friend of mine close to me, and she told me that he had to change for her. Um, but no one is actually going to change for anybody, and I'm not going to change for anybody. And the only person I can change for is myself. And that's the same with any person. They're not going to change for you. They're going to change for themselves for you, if that makes sense. They'll change for the right person, but they're going to do it. They're going to make the change when they're ready to do it. Um, so when I was healing, I had to realize that I, or I did realize that I was, um, I really was a divine temple, um, sacred being. I was not somebody that for so long could and was taken advantage of by other people, other men, um, and not everybody got my energy. Not everybody gets to have your energy. You are special and sacred. Um, we are our own holy grails um, within ourselves. Sorry if you can hear my daughter. She's playing and being a little loud. Um, but we are the sacred temple. Men have to um, enter us. We do not enter men. We are a sacred temple. They find solace within us. I was dating someone once who told me, um, I will come home and find solace in you. Um, so, um, we are sacred beings that we are sacred sexual beings. It's like the quote from, uh, William Golding, whatever you give a woman, she's going to multiply. If you give her sperm, she'll give you a baby. If you give her a house, she'll give you a home. If you bring her groceries, so she'll give you a meal. If you give her a smile, she give, she'll give you her heart. She multiplies and enlarges what is given to her. And I thought that was the perfect quote for feminine energy. Um, I chose Maya as the goddess to work with today because yesterday was Beltane and May Day. Um, and... Maya is the goddess of May and spring, and May is derived from the goddess Maya. So I thought it would be very neat to do something with Maya and incorporate Isis into our healing ceremony. She's also the eldest daughter of the, Ple uh, the Pleiades, and she was the mother of Hermes and Zeus, so I thought her energy just fit perfectly with today. Um, so we'll go ahead and start our meditation. So if you want to get comfortable, close your eyes, um, lay down if you want to, um, and um, start to slow your breathing and take a deep breath and release it and just start dropping into your feminine space, your feminine energy, drop into your womb. I like to drop into my womb when I'm meditating and focusing on feminine energy. That is where we create from. It is our um, where we bring life into the world. It is our sacred portal. And we're going to go ahead and call in Mother Mary, Goddess Isis, and Goddess Maya to journey with us. Ground your energy into Mother Gaia. Feel her underneath your feet to your bottom if you're sitting down. If you're outside or if you go outside today, go barefoot, press the sand again, or press your toes against the sand and just ground into Mother Gaia. Imagine that there is a cord extending from your root chakra down into the earth and let it wrap into the earth a couple times and feel that you are self safe and held sitting here on Pachamama. Let us release any and all lower negative energies that we maybe have stored through our hands. You can place them down onto Pachamama and let her take the energy from you. She will go ahead and transmute that energy for us and she will bring it back up to us as pure white light.
Goddess Isis, Mother Mary, and Goddess Maya, we call you into our space right now as we sit here, guided by your glorious feminine energy. We sit under the umbrella of your feminine light as if we sit under the, um, um, the shade of an umbrella tree after a soft morning rain that has deposited morning dew on the branches. We ask that you bring us relief from the pain that we may be feeling, bring us hope for a new tomorrow, and allow us to accept the release of all that is no longer serving us. We come to you with grace and a deep gratitude for where we are, and for where we have been, and for where we are about to go. Come to us, sacred mothers of feminine light. Be our way showers, our lanterns within the dark, our lanterns within the darkness. Show us how to walk through the sacred rose gardens that you have so lovingly brought us, brought to fruition, with its lovely blooms that flower along the pathways that we are about to walk on. We are at this time going to open circle as we raise the vibration. I am going to call on the angels, guides, guardians, and ascended masters, 5D and above, the stand guard at the four corners as we proceed to our healing work. We call them to bear witness to this transformation that we are about to embark on. And we do start in the west. We call in Archangel Raphael. I invoke your beautiful healing green light. I ask that our bodies, our souls, and our minds are healed with your powerful light, that we may start healing on all levels. We ask that you cover us so fully that our souls are healed just through your touch. Bring us the peace that healing brings and fill our hearts with pure immaculate love. I know that with one touch of your healing green light, we will be healed from the demons that plague us. Archangel Michael, I call on you now to, in the southern quadrant Stand in front of us and be our protection. Hear our cries that we have cried so many times before in the past. Cover us with your beautiful blue light so we are protected against any and all darkness. Hold our hand through the dark, inky night and guide us as the hermit is guiding those behind him with his holy lantern. As you stand in the southern quadrant of fire, bring us the courage we need to release that which is no longer serving us as we propel ourselves forward for our greatest and highest good. Archangel Gabriel, fill us with your bright white light of purity. Cleanse our souls that we are spotless, pure, and white. Fill our thoughts with those beautiful thoughts to uplift our souls, to bring us peace and happiness to all that we encounter. Let us feel your beautiful light filling up our feet, up to our calves, through our thighs, our hips, to our waist, our chest, and up through our arms, our throat, our third eye, and out through our crown chakra. Fill us with, with such heavenly energy. Allow us to speak our truth without hardship. Archangel Uriel, we invoke you to cover us with your angelic red flame. Let us lead others with the wisdom of truth and divinity. Let our words reflect our inner thoughts with kindness, compassion, and wisdom. And with that, our circle is open. We are the warrior women that have been called to take our place in the great circle of healing, to usher in the light where the world has been too dark. And we are here to walk through the garden grown by our foremothers and to be initiated into the heavenly wombs that came before us. For so long, we have longed for another place, somewhere that we could call home, that we feel like we belong and open our petals on a warm spring day, just as the rose opens her soft, luscious petals. Now is the time to create home, to open those same luscious petals that we have kept closed tight for too long. Let us imagine that we are walking along a nice shady pathway, deep in a secret forest, 
no one is around, and it is just you, alone, by yourself. The day is warm, there is a cool breeze that is blowing, and somewhere far off in the distance, you hear a babbling brook. As you are walking along your path, you see a beautiful English garden surrounded by the most charming white picket fence. The sun is shining so bright in the garden, and you are ensconced in the smell of roses, gardenias, and lilies. They are beautiful pink, white, and yellow blooms, and the gate to the garden is closed. And for a moment, you stop and take in the serene beauty of the garden. Outside of the closed gate is an old worn bench that you sit on to rest for just a moment. You take in the garden, the scent of the flowers, and for just a moment, you close your eyes and start to drift away into a deep sleep. As you nod off to sleep, the gate creaks open. You stand up and look at the gate. Then you look at yourself still sleeping on the bench and you realize that you are dreaming. Glancing back at the gate, you see the goddess Maya standing before you. She beckons you to walk with her. You feel yourself take a, a step forward and then another step forward until you are standing next to Maya in the garden. <clears throat> she greets you in her lovely language and she beckons you to take a stroll with her through the maze of the garden. As you begin to walk, you realize that two others have joined you. They walk beside you. One is Goddess Isis, who is quietly walking beside you to your right. And Mother Mary is up ahead of you, leading you deeper into the magic garden. Your mind becomes aware of a deep inner connection to all that is feminine. You see beyond what has become of your reality. And once again, you feel as if you were a child the sacred feminine mothers are leading you back to your childhood when it was safe to trust and you feel that trust now pure unadulterated trust in the divine you know that you are right where you need to be in this moment nothing is wrong outside of these gates everything that needs attention is outside the walls of this garden but for right now you are safe you are held and nothing needs your attention in this moment. You realize there is opportunity everywhere. The happiness you once held on to is right in front of you. Grab it, hold it, and feel it. There is a rhythm on the air, as if there are little cherubs playing, in the in playing their instruments just out of sight. Feel into your sacred feminine self and notice how you respond to the music. Sway your hips to the mystical rhythm. Hear the song of your soul from somewhere deep inside. In what direction are you being pulled? Be still and listen. Feed your soul from the spring that is feeding the roses and lilies and be as a child in their own secret garden and let yourself out to play. There is a sacred wantonness that has been dying to be let out. Feel deep within your womb space. Feel the sacred feminine. She has been calling you. Feel the cool water of the spring. Let it wash over you and heal the hurt feminine inside of you. We have all been sitting in masculine energy for so long. We have had to take charge of our own destinies. We have all been sitting in fight mode. Soften into the feminine core Sit in the temple of oneness with yourself and let the goddess mothers fill you with every joy imaginable. Gain acceptance of the lover within you. No longer are we the whores we are made out to be. We are the sexual feminine, the lions that were too long held in their cages, and the goddesses that pour forth femininity, sexuality, and sacredness. There is the maiden inside of you. Feel her innocence. Feel the playful energy that has been trapped for so long. Feel the beauty of youth and the journey as it beckons. Ancient Lemurian energy is stepping in 
guiding us towards our own heaven on earth. Think of how you want to be mothered. Think of how you wanted your mother to show up for you. Now be that mother for yourself. There is healing in mothering yourself. You are at this time being called upon to heal your energy, to heal those around you, and to heal Mother Earth. There is a hurt upon Mother Earth like she has never known before. And we are here to embody the sacred feminine mother. As mothers, we are here to birth ideas, new creations, and birthing a brand new kind of earth. Call in your soul family. There are others like us that are here on the same journey as us. Call them in, connect with them, and allow creation of a new kind together. Goddess Maya comes to reassure you that you are on the right path and you do not walk it alone. At this time, as we walk in the sacred garden holding the hands of our guardian mothers, ask to be put on the best timeline for you at this moment. Allow the sacred mothers to help you in walking across the sacred threshold. They will hold your hand if you let them, just as they are walking beside you in this garden. Open to them, open your heart, open your soul, open your mind, and walk through the threshold with them. They sit here with you, with their arms wide open and outstretched to you. Release any fear moving forward and reach out for them, taking their hands and release into the unknown. Take a leap of faith with these sacred mothers as our guide and they will never leave you. Feel the electric currents as you feel their sacred breath touching you, a promise of the love and abundance that is to come. They are breathing into you a silent understanding that has come through the spring, full of its own sacred blessings and powerful rituals and rites of passage. Remain connected to the bright lights that are pouring into your heart space. It is an adjustment to sit in your feminine energy and leave behind the familiarity of the masculine energy. As we have sat upon the earth today with her gentle strength and unending love for us, her children, we have gained something new, new seeds to be cared for, loved, shown compassion, and with this loving care, will grow into great things. It is now a balancing act between our sacred feminine and the powerhouse masculine energy. Both are okay, and one is a portal to into another. Goddess Isis, Goddess Maya, and Mother Mary now return to you in this garden. They embrace you, each with the tender love of a mother. They kiss you on your forehead, activating your third eye as they do. Lovingly, they guide you through the garden in the direction in which you came, back down the path, and through the gate. Your body is still sleeping peacefully on the bench and you bid farewell to your guides and you enter into your body once more. You now slowly come back into um, consciousness. You wiggle your toes, your fingers, and slowly open your eyes. You remember your journey into the Rose Garden and you take whatever you gained with you through your life on your path. Thank you so much for joining me for this meditation and journey. I have been so blessed to be here with everybody.